up everybody welcome back to the channel today i'm going to be discussing with you how to defeat and how to use thanos in timeline battle well that's the end of the video take care everyone <laughs> this is going to be my go-to team to hopefully win um vibranium top 100 i'm not really aiming for anything higher than top 90 but I hope I get it so there's a lot of controversy going around about how Thanos is used and what builds to use him with and people are saying that his heal isn't working well but I'm gonna explain his heal so his heal doesn't activate under invincibility but Authority's accumulation gives him the edge. I'm going to show you why. Get the accumulation here. Three cancel, four. Done. This is for pretty much every Thanos I've come across. I've had the same result. Where I just use three cancel, four. And it, it, it one-shots any Thanos. Even with regen, that's brilliant. It's just too, damage to, too much damage to bear. Especially since I have Mystique with Insight, so it's a lot of damage in that shot. I also kill No. Uh, I sorry, I kill Thanos with a few more other tunes. I'm gonna showcase them. So here I'm using Sentry. I'm combining him with Taskmaster with Insight. I try and kill him with Quicksilver, but I think with Regen, Quicksilver just can't do it. Thanos has too much attack. I mean, too much HP. Sentry on the other hand, Sentry could definitely kill pretty much any Thanos as long as he combines like, you know, 5, 2, 1, and 3 and keeps guard breaking him a lot. With regen, it, it's harder. With, with authority, it's a little bit easier. But Sentry has a very specific rotation and you want to get his accumulation up in order to do it. I think authority really gives characters the edge for damage because characters that are defensive are always going to be defensive and authority provides both an attack and a defense so there i got a, i got an l it's okay i'm going to try again and i'm going to try and utilize sentry's rotation and authority i get the accumulation wait for five Combine it with one and two, and sometimes I get the kill there, but sometimes I have to try again. I think I'm gonna try again with Quicksilver. Yeah, didn't work there. Have no fear, sentries here. See, I keep him in guard break immunity. That's the deficiency of regen. So you want to have a brilliant regen on Thanos if you're going to get it to him. But there, I got him. So yeah, I would say that Thanos is number two in PvP. I still think that Warlock is number one, but only if Warlock has greed. Because Warlock with Greed can still one-shot Thanos with his two. If Thanos' steel is not activated prior or it hasn't activated yet. And my sentry is very, very underbuilt. He doesn't even have his Uru set up, his gears at 17. So Sentry is still top three for sure. Doom is taking a fall. I can't really rely on him to kill Thanos, despite me killing him in the previous vid. And I paired him with Taskmaster and he got that kill once, but... I usually use him for the lead because it's very, very important. You would think because Thanos has 80% damage increase to tunes with debuff removal. This doesn't mean that you shouldn't use debuff removal. Thanos, he debuffs you anyway, even under invincibility if you don't have debuff removal lead. Oh look, it's my friend. 
right in the middle of the video. <laughs> I'm just, you know, having fun with Spider-Man. Spider-Man is such a great character. Greed is the proper CTP on him. You can kill any Thanos with greed. I time it after doing second rotation. And what I mean by that is the second time that Thanos pops his four, he's also going to pop five from distance. And that's where you can switch and it'll negate the five. And then with Spider-Man, you do a quick four cancel, three cancel, five. See, I killed him there again. So here I'm facing, um, I think somebody from Challenger League. I forgot who. And I'm I'm fighting an Emma Frost because my Thanos would normally get reflect, but I'm gonna showcase how to avoid that. Doctor Strange, he is the man. He can kill Warlock at least once. He can kill Thanos in record time. I love Doctor Strange. I'm going to showcase some more tunes that could fight Thanos. So here, here is a special trick with Thanos. Get the accumulation, use one, and you can move with one on manual. So you can move behind him. Guarantee your hits and guarantee that you are gonna use the four before the AI does. There is no true power with an energy in PVP. Granted, he doesn't have guard break immunity, but he has guard break immunity when he gets um, invincible when he's about to die. Even though I got the L here. Null is great against pretty much any tune. He can kill he can kill Thanos as well. But I I particularly want to showcase how do I beat Thanos without taking reflect from Emma. So there again, I beat him again. Same exact way. That Thanos has a brilliant authority. I kill Emma the same way I did before. And I'm gonna hopefully kill Warlock with Thanos. Because I can kill Warlock with Null too, but he needs his third skill in order to do that. So there you wanna do five cancel four while Warlock's doing that skill like ASAP. You don't wanna waste any time. But when Thanos kills him the first time, probably gonna be with his fifth or with his third you want to run away to avoid getting hit with a counter because warlock with a counter is very dangerous so I can kill Thanos with Gambit as well if I time it I'm gonna showcase that because why not I think Gambit is one of the best PvE tunes PvP tunes whatever I don't care what anyone says Emma Frost is a, a wonderful counter to Thanos. I'm gonna build her soon. So there I saw Thanos heal under invincibility, which is kind of interesting. It's probably because Warlock pierced through it. Okay, you wanna avoid? Look how close. And granted, that Warlock has some some form of, of proc. He has like energy or greed. So I barely lived through that. You want Thanos to have enough HP to survive. Here, I'm gonna kill him with my sentry. Get the accumulation. Five, one, two. Ooh, I missed that one. Take damage there. Got him. So I do a switch and then another switch. 
If I can get lucky, I can kill Warlock as well. But I didn't there. And I got the L here. Yeah, I got the L. I don't mind getting losses. So every time you face Thanos, you want to stand for one second until he draws his sword and lands it. And then you move, and you move casually to the right. And then there, I got Sentry's Accumulation and did 5-1-2, and I killed him. So hopefully when I get more attack on him, he'll be able to one, well, three skill most Thanos's. So there you can see I killed Warlock with Quicksilver with just a quick two. Anything that could guard break Warlock and kill him, use use that, that skill. So Quicksilver's two, Quicksilver's four can easily kill Warlock. But it's just bypassing his two. I think this is my last match. So... I hope you guys enjoyed the video for the most part. I hope that you understand more how to use Thanos with your own. I think Authority is the proper CTP for Thanos. And I think Accumulation does give him the edge against even Thanos with high HP and regen. So there I get a double kill with Spider-Man because I utilize the four as much as I can. I utilize the four to avoid Emma. I kill Warlock with Cable, which is a fan favorite, and it's my favorite thing to do. And I could kill Warlock with Doom as well. It's just I gotta time his skills, you know, make cancel four and two. So I decided to use as many teams as I could to fight Thanos. And I know that there was a lot more tactics than the ones that I primarily use. So I did. I decided to use a bunch of more tombs to kill Thanos for you guys to see what it would look like. So I used tunes like Captain Marvel, Destroyer, Null, Dormammu, etc. So... Captain Marvel, a 5-4 would pretty much kill Thanos. Also, Captain Marvel does kind of well against Emma Frost, too. Here I showcase Destroyer. I don't think he's as proficient, but that's the tactic that people use. I wouldn't re recommend that people use him, but if people want to, they can. This works with Emma as well. But I got the L there. Here I'm gonna showcase no killing Thanos. Run around, second rotation. Fifth skill, switch. Usually four cancel, five cancel, three, bam. Emma Frost is a big problem for Thanos. I used my first skill on manual and it benefited me. Quick five cancel, four. I managed to negate Warlock's counter, which is not as consistent. Here I showcase Dormammu's Reflect. Pretty efficient, but you gotta time it properly because Dormammu has stun on this four and it causes Thanos to change his skill like randomly. Dormammu's reflect is also really good against Warlock's fifth as well.
move away so I don't get completely countered and I'm good. Here I showcase Super Giant. Super Giant can also kill Thanos pretty well. She gets that guard break immunity penetration on two and four. And then she gets invisibility so she has the opportunity to avoid reflect. It's from invisibility. That mind control is really efficient when there's no debuff removal. Here I decided to have a little fun and I showcased Ghost Rider. Even though I don't think he's proficient either in killing Thanos. He's not really a PvP character, but I did it anyway. This is a solid three, pretty good. Sentry can do five as quick as possible to get that guard break immunity penetration and combine it with one. Kill Warlock. Last one I'm showcasing Icarus. He has a very bad obelisk now that I removed his uh, uh, mighty authority. But Icarus is still efficient with his three cancel five. You can also use forts for evasion and for some extra hits. But yeah. That's pretty much all the tunes I know. Minus maybe a couple that could kill Thanos. Yeah, I know I miss Blue Marvel. I miss Shang-Chi. I miss Wolverine. All of these tunes I don't really have built, which is why I didn't use them. But I'm sure that they could be used to some degree as well. They're really expanding timeline. People should have fun now. I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And catch my next video coming out soon. Take care.